Welcome back Future Medicos. Here is the last opportunity for 2021 batch students to get into government medical colleges. MCC has released a notification for special stay vacancy round. So you can see the notification here, which is released on 18th April, 2022. And this is mainly uh, called special stay vacancy round, which is going to be conducted in an online mode again. You can see here, there are still around 323 MBBS seats are vacant under All India Quota Central Universities, Ames, Jipmer, right? They have vacancies almost in all the colleges. Um, there is a small typo error. It's not 325, it should be 323 seats. So this is called a special stay vacancy round and it will be conducted in online mode. Now, what are the rules? Who can participate? Um, no fresh registration is allowed. Only those who have previously registered for All India Counseling, they can participate in this counseling. And another condition is you should not be holding any seat which is allotted to you either in All India Counseling or through State Counseling, right? So you should not be holding a seat and you should have previously registered with MCC. If you fulfill both these conditions, then you can participate in the counseling. Another one more condition is anyone who got an allotment in All India Counseling, either in the mop-up round or in the stay vacancy round, even if they are not holding any seat now, they are also not eligible. Okay. So only candidates who have not been allotted any seat in mop-up round or stay vacancy round of All India Counseling, and they don't hold any seat now, they can participate. Um, no fresh registration, but you need to do fresh choice filling. Okay. For the previous stay vacancy round, MCC said there is no choice filling. But now for the special vacancy round, there is a choice filling. And another important thing you need to take note is you need to pay a security deposit of 50,000. So only candidates who pay the security deposit of 50,000 will be eligible to participate in the special stay vacancy round. Please take note that candidates who are not holding any seat either in All India Quota or State Quota only are eligible to participate in the special stay vacancy round. Candidates who will be allotted a seat will have to report at the allotted institute and join the seat with their original documents. And candidates participating should give an undertaking. Uh, basically, you need to tell that you are not holding any seat in the previous rounds of either All India Quota or State Quota. You are not holding a seat. In case if seat is allotted to you and you don't join the college, then you will lose the security deposit of 50,000. Not only that, MCC says legal action may be taken by the competent authority against those candidates who are trying to still block the seats. Okay, those are the important points you need to take note. Now let us look at the schedule. Uh, you can look at the schedule. There are, um, the first step is uh, you need to pay the security deposit uh, so the website will be open on 20th April 2022 and it will be open for two days from 20th April until 3 p.m. on 21st April. Okay. The payment facility will be available only until 3 p.m. Okay. Please take note of that. The payment facility will be available only until 3 p.m. on 21st April 2022. Uh, once you do the payment of security deposit, you can straight away start doing the choice filling. The choice filling is also will be held only on 20th April and 21st April. But while the payment facility closes at three o'clock, the choice filling and choice locking closes at 11.59 p.m. on 21st April. The seat allotment processing will be done on 22nd April and the result will be published on 23rd April. And if you get a seat on 23rd April, then you need to report to the college between 24th April to 28th April. And then you can join the college until 5 p.m. on 28th April. Now, what are the seats vacant? Uh, these are the seats vacant. As you can see, there are lots and lots of seats vacant in almost every state, in almost every college, uh, and almost under every category, there are seats available. 
and you can see the total seats comes to 323 seats of uh, all MBBS seats we are talking about. We are not talking about BDS here. We are only talking about the MBBS seats, which is 323. Now, let me show you uh, the breakdown in terms of the state-wise breakdown. So you can see here, Tamil Nadu has the maximum number of vacancies for special stay vacancy round. They have 41 seats vacant, uh, which is including Ames Madurai. Then the second state is Maharashtra, which has 39 seats. Bihar has 29, Uttar Pradesh 23, West Bengal 21, Rajasthan and Puducherry both have 20 seats each. Surprisingly, Puducherry has uh, only one college and even in that one college, there are 20 seats vacant, which is surprising. Kerala has 15 seats, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka has 14 seats each. Haryana and Andhra Pradesh has 10 seats each. The remaining states all have single digit numbers. And if you look at uh, the community wise breakdown, the open category has 147 seats vacant. EWS has 17. OBC candidates have 93 seats vacant. SC candidates have 40, ST 15. And then the persons with disabilities, there are about 11 seats available. So totally we have 323 seats which are available under various states, okay? And then I have given you the breakdown by state. So if you are interested in getting an MBBS seat and you are not currently holding any seat, then this is a wonderful opportunity for you. Please register and give it a try. You may get a seat, okay? My best wishes. Thank you. Bye-bye.